Yo, what is going on guys? It's you, Blue Cans coming right at you with another freaking commentary. And I'm just trying to make this video real quick just so I can go to bed because uh, as normal, it's 9 in the morning and uh, I didn't go to sleep last night again. And I'll probably fall asleep and sleep till about 6 or 7 o'clock like I always do. But either way, so uh, yeah, anyways, let's get into this. So basically, um, I'm just going to talk about my opinion on how Call of Duty is going these days and how downhill it's going. And everybody's noticed it, obviously, you know. It's just crazy to think about because back in the day, you know, Infinity Ward made the best games. You know, Treyarch, like, they made good games, not going to lie. Like, World at War, BO1, and BO2, obviously, very good games. But... Compared to the Infinity Ward games back in the day, they weren't really that much. If you've been around a decent amount of time, like I have, like a good amount of time playing all these games, then you would definitely know Infinity Ward was top-notch, okay? Even at MW3. MW3 was still a fantastic game, no matter what people say about it. Fantastic game. MW2, fantastic game. COD 4, Modern Warfare 1, you know, fantastic game. And, you know, people, like, nowadays, they're just kind of taking that aside. And uh, I just... Even yeah, and when I say people, I kind of mean the Call of Duty creators, okay? Because they're not taking stuff from the old games. They're just trying to re or not reinvent. They're trying to make new stuff, and it's just it's not doing anything, okay? Obviously, everybody knows nobody wants a futuristic game, okay? I'm not saying nobody is in like nobody wants it whatsoever, but like you know there is people out there who want a futuristic game, but at the same time, like no, hardly anybody wants it, okay? Treyarch would have, in my opinion, done so much better making a World at War II instead of another futuristic game, just trying to copy, you know, technically Ghost and then Advanced Warfare. If they had done World at War II, it would have brought the video game generations back, probably, I'm saying probably, I don't know if it would have, but most likely would have brought the video game generations back to the old days. You know, all the video games, or at least all the Call of Duties back in the day, like a very long time ago, not a very long time ago, you know, like six or seven years maybe even more they were all based around world war one you know world war two that old kind of stuff and actually modern warfare one was the first call of duty game to just kind of like change all that you know it was the first call of duty game to bring something new to the table and not bring like world of war it was actually like present day stuff and people loved it okay everybody knows that people loved the modern warfare games they're just fantastic it, i wouldn't say it's a new kind of thing because you know people had made modern games before but you know, it, it was it was just fundamental, I guess. It was crazy. And then the next year, you know, Treyarch came out with another World at War, or with a World at War game, and, you know, uh, it was another World War II game. And, you know, people still liked it. People still thought it was really good. But still, it was kind of overshadowed by COD 4 just being amazing. And uh, Modern Warfare 2, they brought another modern game. Fantastic. Everybody loved it. And, you know, it's just crazy because they think, they think that stepping it up a notch by taking it a little bit higher, you know, going in the future... They think that that's doing them good. They think that that's, you know, bringing back, or not bringing back, but they think that that's, like, it's giving them something good, but no, it's not. And they need to open their eyes and listen to the community. You know, Vonderhaar's out there. He's talking to FaZe players now and stuff like that. But really, all they're telling him is, oh, make your game like Black Ops 2. And yeah, Black Ops 2 was a futuristic game in a sense. Well, I mean, it was made to be, but, like, you know, it, it, it was still decently modern. You know, it seemed modern at least, but still a futuristic game and that's all the trick shotters really want is another black ops 2 okay just different they just want different stuff and i mean i guess that's okay to be honest um i don't really agree with that because you know like black ops 2 was is not my favorite game to trick shot on yeah it is a fantastic game and i do enjoy trick shotting on it but if i really wanted to have a fun call of duty that i could play for years and years to come it would have to be another game just like modern warfare 2 and I really don't think Treyarch could pull that off, you know? And the game mechanics these days are just so different. Like, it started with probably, I'm pretty sure it started with MW3, where, you know, they took the YY out. You know, the YY was just sketchy. When you switched guns, it was a little bit faster, and it just, it wasn't as clean. And all the games before that, it was so clean. The YY was so clean, you know, the switching guns. It was, it was just clean. I don't even know how to, another word to explain it. I guess smooth, I guess, but... You know, they're just taking everything away from the Call of Duty games that w made them good at one point, and it's making them lose a lot of fans, and, you know, I just, I don't know, I think Treyarch and Activision and all those people who make the Call of Duty games nowadays, they need to open their eyes, and they need to just go back to what made them great, and I'm not saying go back as in copy the games, but I'm saying, you know, like, make games that people would actually enjoy, not futuristic crap where you're flying around in the air for fucking five, five hours, I don't know. 
But whatever, guys. I um, hope you enjoyed me rambling on for five minutes now. So, uh, yeah, it's been your Blue Blue Cams. Like I said, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you bros later. I love you all. Peace out.